I would say that engine is almost out of the car. Get out of the car. I normally drink quite a lot of tea, but today is one of those days where I drink a lot of tea compared to someone who drinks a lot of tea. Anyway, there's the engine gone. Out of the car, out of the yard. Down there, the gearbox is on the floor, but the drive shaft's out. I just need to try and disconnect it a bit further from there. And now we have a much better view of the subframe corrosion. It's quite, it's quite bad actually. Also just removed these side skirts to reveal what I expected. Yes, corrosion, lots of it. I suspect the other side will be just as bad. Anyone would think I was working on a Ford. There is quite a lot of corrosion under this car and there's also quite a lot of new parts as well. So that's something quite useful, but it does look a bit um, seasidey. On the floor is the ZR's Ford gearbox. Its drive shafts intact. Looking not too dissimilar to an alien froggy reaching out for a cuddle. Yep. 14 inch wheels, 17 inch wheels. And there goes not transit face driving out of the yard with my Rover 75. And that's a different story altogether. I'm going to make my own special tool for removing fuel. When I say special tool, what I really mean <coughs> is just a kind of a bypass relay thing in my jig. The bit of wire technique wasn't proven to be all that reliable. So by taking a relay apart and soldering up the two bits that caused that to what, bypass it essentially, maybe this would be more reliable. Time to put it to the test. It didn't work. 20 to 11 on a Saturday morning and I'm going home. I'm going home before normally I get here on a Saturday. How about that? That's because I am having a special evening with a friend of mine who's here to treat me some curry and beer. Curry and beer, curry and beer, curry and beer, curry and beer. Beer! Great! <laughs>